Hey guys, it's Brooke. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, today's video is an exciting one. Today is the first day of fall content. Today is August 24th. Starbucks released their pumpkin drinks or fall drinks and Dunkin' has actually been ahead of the game. They released their drinks like five to seven days ago, so they are like they are quick. I'm going to be reviewing these two drinks today. They are both pumpkin cream cold brews, one by Dunkin and one by Starbucks, and we're going to see who wins. Yeah, so we'll see who wins of the day and who I recommend and for what reasons why. I hope you guys are doing well and I hope you guys are excited for fall too. Or are you still like hanging on to summer? I'm kind of over summer. I've, I like I haven't done anything. Also, apparently today, Starbucks released their fall cups, which I have not seen. I've not seen anybody buy one from like outside of Starbucks, just sitting around tables. I have not seen them in store. I went to two Starbucks and there's no mention of them at all. So I don't think today is a day that they came out, even though everybody thought it was going to be today, at least not around my town. At the end of this video, I am going to list all the fall drinks that Dunkin' and Starbucks is offering this year, so if you're interested in that, stick around till the end. All right, so this is terrible lighting, but the first Starbucks I went to was actually out of cold brew. So that really sucks. So Duncan was right down the road. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the Duncan cold brew, pumpkin cold brew. Watch them not have it. That would suck. Okay. Oh. Hi, can I get a small pumpkin cream cold brew? Yes, ma'am. That's it. All righty, you can pull it around. Thank you. And then we'll do an initial first taste test and then we'll go to the next Starbucks that I usually go to and they should have it. They're usually really good about having things. They have it! And they're not busy. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Okay, thank you. Okay, so they do have a deal on medium, so they gave me a medium instead of a small because it's actually cheaper, and a medium is huge for Dunkin'. I've never had a medium drink from Dunkin' before, so this is absolutely huge. They gave me quite a bit of pumpkin cream cold foam, which is really nice, and they do have these sippy cups. Um, that's what I call them. First ever Dunkin' pumpkin cream cold brew. Mm. It smells delightful. It smells really good. Okay, that's actually not bad at all. I was thinking it was going to be a little stronger because Duncan's lattes are really strong, but their cold brews are so good. I love Duncan's cold brews a lot more than their lattes. And you think the cold brew would be stronger, but it's actually not. Pumpkin cream cold foam it's not as sweet so that may this may be a really good option it kind of like has a really nice balance to it so if you don't like really strong coffee the pumpkin cream cold foam at Starbucks is a little too sweet for you you may really like this drink it's actually really good there's no way I'm gonna be able to drink this all oh my gosh I'd have palpitations for like two days but mmm that's really good. I like it. Definitely more coffee. Like, it's not as sweet as the pumpkin cream cold brew at Starbucks, which I like sweet drinks. So if you are not a big fan of overly sweet drinks, you may really like this. And another thing that I'm really noticing is this doesn't have like that really, really strong pumpkin flavor. So if you're not a big fan of also like pumpkin, you like subtly pumpkin type drinks then I think you'd really like this this is a good option for sure let's go ahead and go to Starbucks and it's super cold and get the pumpkin cream cold brew refresh our memories and I'm gonna tell you which one I like better hi welcome to Starbucks my name is Dakota what's yours hi Brooke all right what's gonna get started for you today <laughs> um I want to get a grande pumpkin cream cold brew pumpkin cream cold brew yes 
is the Starbucks pumpkin cream cold foam and instantly pumpkin just literally hits my face. It's so strong, but I cannot wait to try it. As you can tell, the coloring is different. Of course, this one has melted down a little bit, but let's go ahead and refresh our memory. Mm. That's actually really strong. <laughs> That's a lot stronger than it was last year, for sure, the cold brew part. But um, it is good. I remember this was my favorite drink last year. The cold brew is actually pretty strong, at least in this one. Um, sometimes, you know, they make it a little differently depending on who makes it. Um, the pumpkin cream cold foam is really good. It is just slightly sweeter. It has just a little bit more pumpkin flavor, but other than that, that's the only main big differences of these two drinks. I originally said that there wasn't a lot of pumpkin flavor, but after drinking them back to back, not unless it's because it sat a little bit, this one actually has quite a bit of pumpkin flavoring. Like it all together, it doesn't, but it has like a distinct flavor. Like you can tell there's like a complete difference between the cold foams. So I do like the flavoring of the Starbucks cold foam better than the Dunkin's. This one seemed like it got a little bit stronger once it sat. So as of today, I actually like the Dunkin' one a little more because the cold brew isn't as strong. Like this one is actually pretty strong uh, for some reason. I like the Starbucks pumpkin cream cold foam a little better than Dunkin's, but altogether I like the Dunkin' drink better. So Dunkin' wins for the day. I did not think that was going to happen. So if you like a cold brew that's not too overbearing and something that's slightly sweet and has that slightly bit of pumpkin flavor, then definitely head to your local Dunkin' and try the pumpkin cream cold brew. If you like something that's a little bit stronger and slightly just a little bit sweeter, there's not much of a big difference in the sweetness of the cold foam, at least this year. I feel like it was a little sweeter last year. Then head to your local Starbucks. <laughs> And something funny that my friend Megan thought of yesterday was pumpkin is technically a squash, right? And I was like, yeah, you know, that is true. And she was like, yeah, so that means everybody gets excited over a squash. And people's favorite drinks are basically a squash drink. And I thought that was so funny. So I had to share that with you guys. But Duncan wins for the day. That does not mean that Duncan will win every time. But for this video, Duncan definitely wins. I think it's really well balanced. Also, I wanted to mention that there is quite a bit of a price difference. So the Starbucks one, Grande, comes out to $5.11, and then the Dunkin' one, which they're having a deal on mediums, is $2 plus tax. So I think it I think it was like $2.89, and you get a lot more. So if you like Dunkin's, then you definitely get a better deal for sure and a lot more coffee. So excited to start fall content this year. Let me go ahead and tell you guys all the drinks that are available this year. So we'll start with Duncan. We have the pumpkin cream cold brew, obviously. The pumpkin spice signature latte. We have the pumpkin spice ice signature latte. We have a vanilla cold brew with pumpkin cream cold foam. I think that one's going to be amazing. I think that one may even be a little better than the one that I tried today. We have a caramel iced coffee with pumpkin cream cold foam. That sounds delightful. I might have to try that. They have a pumpkin chai latte, a pumpkin chai iced latte, and a pumpkin iced coffee and a regular pumpkin coffee. So Duncan is definitely killing the pumpkin game this year. And Starbucks doesn't really have a lot this year. They have one new drink and that is the apple crisp macchiato. I believe they didn't have that last year and it comes in iced as well. Of course, their pumpkin spice, their chai tea latte, and their pumpkin cream cold brew. And that's literally all they have this year so far. So that is actually a little disappointing. They don't have the uh, salted caramel uh, frappuccino, which, you know, I'm fine with because to me that was not that great at all. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what other videos you would like to see me do. Um, 
fall wise and I can definitely try and make those happen because I need some content ideas I have some ideas but I want to know what you guys want to see let me know which side you are on do you like Duncan or do you like Starbucks which drinks do you plan on trying let me know down below and subscribe if you're new give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I'll see you in my next one bye guys